You are so beautiful. Please, please remind yourself that all the time. Hey, beautiful queen. It's your girl, Jess. And today's video is going to be how to look beautiful, how to be beautiful. The reason I decided to do this video, it's a bit different from my channel, is because... I honestly was just looking at myself in the mirror and I looked at myself in different lighting and it's so funny because in different lighting I look so different like I look fine here because I have all my lighting but when the lights are off I look strange I look weird I, I feel like I look orange I, I don't know if I look orange on camera but for me it looks weird and I also feel like we put our best photos up on social media especially these very high influencers like Amrezi, um, who else, Liani, Liani V Carly Bible, all these beautiful women that I, I love and I admire, but I also feel like it's very unsustainable to feel like you're going to look like them every single day. And I had a moment of weakness where I was like, oh my God, she's so perfect. And I was looking at myself and I was like, in my robe, I had my hoodie on. I was like, mm, do they ever look like that? And we don't know because we don't really see that. So I want to be completely transparent and help you so you can look and feel beautiful every single day. So my three main tips is one, I know you're gonna probably hate me for this, but I want you to stop comparing yourself to anyone or anyone in the whole world, like even your sister, anyone, everyone. If you're a twin, don't even compare yourself to your twin. And I know, again, this is so much easier said than done, but as soon as you compare your looks to someone else, oh, this girl has like really big lips, my lips aren't that big, which is something I actually did recently. I was like, hang on, would I suit that? Would my face suit that? I'm not saying if you don't want to get surgery, don't do it. Do whatever makes you happy, but don't do it because you want to look like someone else or because someone else looks that way and you want to fit in. Because the whole point of us being born individually is so we stand out, in my opinion. And the more you stand out with your beautiful uniqueness, the more you will get to where you want to be in life and have a joyful, happy life. So I will say stop comparing yourself to anyone, literally. And... This is easier said than done, like I said. But when you start working on yourself more and start genuinely looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself every day that you love your soul, you love how beautiful you are, focus on something that you genuinely love, like your eye. Like for me, it's my eyes. I genuinely like my eyes. You can focus on whatever it is and just be grateful that you have that because no matter what someone else does, they can never look like you. They can do 10,000 million surgeries, but they will never actually look exactly like you. There will still be some sort of different uniqueness. Even with twins, they're identical, but they still look so different. It's actually miraculous, but I just want to point that out. Number two, now this is a little, this is a little deep one that you're going to have to do consistently. And that is genuinely work on yourself. What I mean by work on yourself is journal, look at yourself in the mirror. What don't you like? Why don't you like it? question yourself as to why if the answer is because these people look like that and i don't do you see where the problem is they look like that great good for them but you look like that and that's incredible so how can you use the way you look to your advantage i truly believe that the more you work on yourself the more you genuinely start to journal look at yourself start like looking within don't worry about the outer part look within you and be happy truly happy with how you feel how you look and want to improve that's when miracles happen there's this big thing about fat loss and i was obsessing when i say obsessing i mean obsessing over how i can be skinny again i'll try to find a photo and put up here of how i looked in january I don't look like that right now. I have a bit more meat on me. Um, I, I do have more muscle, but I do not look like that. And I looked like that because I was very depressed and I wasn't eating and yeah. So I don't want to be like that. I want to be healthy and I want to feel good. So I was obsessing and going on YouTube, how to lose weight, how to lose weight quick, blah, blah, blah. And I found this YouTube lady, I'll try to find her and list her down below. And she was literally speaking about it's all in your mind and when she said that i had a little brain freeze because it's so true the more we keep saying oh my god i'm so fat oh my god i'm such a whale oh my god you know oh look i gained so much weight oh my god this oh my god that the more we're affirming that that is who we are when we start saying different things like i'm so fit i have a great body i love the way my body is and you start picturing the body that you know you will have and you start genuinely loving it you move so much quicker to your goal as opposed to saying i'm so fat i'm like oh my god i love junk food or oh my god like 
I just have this upset like oh my gosh I used to say this I have this obsession with um, hot chips I have this obsession with chocolate oh my god like you, you don't understand like my brother my my brother always buys chocolate oh my god my sister always buys chocolate like I can't not get chocolate excuses I'm sorry but it's true my sister has bought me Lindor have I had it no Lindor is something I am obsessed with she bought two they are still in the cupboard I have not touched them and it has been a week I used to eat Lindor every single night guaranteed like you know if we didn't have at home I literally like an I was lazy I'm like okay let's go let's go Coles I want I, um, let's go Woolies I want I want Lindor I want a chocolate like literally obsessed so you find alternatives things that sugarless or whatever that you genuinely like that you can work towards so when you start genuinely like talking to yourself better you actually don't hate yourself when you look in the mirror which is very hard coming from someone who used to actually hate themselves and look at themselves and hate themselves in the mirror i've come such a long way because i knew i needed to change it wasn't like oh i want to change no no i am going to change i am going to love myself and it is a day and day process it doesn't just miraculously stop and be like okay i love myself now it doesn't happen like that you just start looking at yourself better and you start smiling when you look at yourself you're like wow you notice little things that you didn't really notice before you're like oh my god i'm actually so cute or, oh my god my soul is literally beaming through my eyes the you know my inside is shining out and that's why i'm so beautiful so work on the inside and that is a whole nother thing let me know down below if you want more info about that because i can do how i did it my personal journey now the third thing now you might end up hating me for this you might disagree but this is just my preference i don't believe you need to wear makeup no that's all actually i was going to say i don't really believe you need to wear makeup but what i do believe is you need to get dressed now what do i mean by get dressed when you're going somewhere if you don't want to wear makeup that is totally cool wear put put some vaseline on for me i like to cover my dark circles so i do like to apply a little bit of concealer it just makes me feel better but if you don't want to wear makeup trust me when i say if you wear something that you feel a bit cute in it doesn't have to be like so bougie if you could see my outfit you'd be like where the hell are you going i'm literally going nowhere but anyway if you want to feel that you look more beautiful or you want to feel beautiful look the part and it might sound a bit superficial but think about it. when you have your hair done you're wearing something cute you have a bit of makeup on don't you genuinely feel so much better like you feel like oh my god like okay i was crying two seconds ago but when i look at myself i'm like oh whereas opposed to when you're and don't get me wrong i love being in my robe i'm in my robe like 24 7 i'm surprised i'm not wearing it today right now but i will very very shortly <laughs> when you're just wearing baggy clothes or you're wearing something that you know i guess like the hobo outfit that people always say when you're wearing that you might feel so comfortable and you also might feel beautiful and that's great i'm not saying you shouldn't feel beautiful but if you are struggling to feel beautiful when this is something i tell my sister genuinely when you wake up in the morning especially because we're in covid don't just stay in your pajamas leave your trackies on fine leave your your socks on fine put your robe on fine i do that too but change your top do one little thing different change your top put instead of your pajamas up put a put a nice top on it's spring now put a different top on so she has been doing that and genuinely i see a shift in her with her hair it's all messy right do something cute to your hair even if it's a nice bun you know right now like my hair looks ridiculous honestly but i sprayed the shit out of it and i put it in a little half up half down and i feel really cute before i felt like a weird square egg and i didn't i didn't vibe it and i felt i didn't feel beautiful even though i know i'm beautiful i didn't feel as beautiful as i know i could be because of something small so even if it's like i have curly hair don't don't make that your excuse but even if it's just tying your hair in a nice bun trying out, out different new styles changing your top something so small can genuinely make you feel so much better and when you do that I want you to look at yourself and smile jump up and jump up and down if you have to do some some action that will make you feel better because at the end of the day, it's all about how you feel you could honestly be wearing the homeless outfit and still feel beautiful and i'm saying it like that because i don't necessarily mean that but you know how women say it's either i look so bougie or i look homeless i'm just referencing that please don't take offense 
But those are my three tips and genuinely that has helped me so much because when I was very depressed, I didn't want to get out of my clothes. I honestly hated everything didn't eat nothing so then i'm like you know what i need to change so i started journaling every single day about why why i'm like this why am i doing this why are these little things getting to me why do i feel like this you go down to the root and the root of the problem the question is to keep asking yourself why then i started to look at myself in the mirror that was very uncomfortable for me very freaking uncomfortable especially telling myself oh my god i love you and oh you're actually so pretty and i actually do love my body like i, I love the extra the extraness i have and i'm working towards my goal i am fit little things like that feel uncomfortable but a little trick i do is i jump up and down i know it looks weird and sounds weird but i jump up and down before and i smile genuine smile and i say it and when i say it i feel it more do that every single day for 30 days and I promise you, you'll notice the biggest difference. And then what I started doing is I love being in my trackies in my robe, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to change my top and I'm going to make my hair look cute. Those are the two things I want to do every day. Even though I'm in lockdown and no one can see me, I'm still doing it. And I promise you, those little three things have changed. They actually did change my life from not eating, being in bed every single second of the day. I actually would get up and I'd feel better i felt like no life is so short i deserve i deserve to feel like this so i'm gonna work towards it you can't lie to yourself and you're, you're gonna start telling yourself i don't really believe that don't don't listen to those thoughts genuinely start start actually doing it don't compare yourself to how anyone looks don't compare yourself to anyone's life focus on your lane focus on your lane and be like i am gonna get there and when you do get there get to a place where you genuinely love yourself and feel more beautiful you're when you look at other beautiful women you're not going to be like oh my god like i wish i looked like them i'm like they're so beautiful they are so beautiful the way they look i know if i did something exactly the way they have it it's not going to look the same on me you know what i mean so i really just felt like i need to do a video on this i just something inside of me told me i had to so i really hope this video has helped anyone out there watching let me know if you want me to do more videos like this you are so beautiful please please remind yourself that all the time i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video make sure to subscribe and like and yeah bye